This is a super quick revision video for um, topic three, um, energy change for unit three of um, AQA GCSE. So you need to know that hydrogen can be used as a fuel. We have hydrogen plus oxygen and it's going to turn into water. The really good thing about this is that water is non-polluting. It doesn't contribute towards climate change. It doesn't contribute towards um, acid rain. Um, but there are a few problems with this. Uh, for example, uh, cars are very expensive to develop. The hydrogen fuel stations aren't developed here. You'd have to convince the government to invest in that. You'd have to convince everyone to buy a new car. Hydrogen store is very dangerous, very um, explosive, and it takes up a lot of space. So while this is a really good fuel for the future, um, really good for climate change, it's not quite there yet in terms of um, readiness. I mean, you need to know about calorimetry. Um, so they like asking how you can improve this experiment. The way you do it is stir it so that one area isn't heated more than others and pop a lid in it to stop an experiment escaping. So you have um, an ethanol or a methanol or a propanol or an alcohol burner down here. You need to know the mass of that beforehand. You need to know the mass of that afterwards. You need to know the difference. You have your water. You need to know the mass of water beforehand, the mass of water after, and if there's any difference. And you need to know the temperature beforehand, temperature after, and if there's any difference. This is the equation that you're going to be using to work out um, any energy released. So we have energy here in joules, mass of water in grams, specific heat capacity which is 4.2 and temperature change which is in kilograms. You need to know your energy level diagrams. This is an example for an exothermic reaction. We have our reactants here, our products here. This is the reaction in progress, this is the energy. This bit here is the actuation energy, and this bit here is the overall energy released by the reaction. This is an exothermic look like, and this is what an endothermic one looks like. So in an exothermic, the energy of the reactants is greater than the energy of the products. In an endothermic, the energy of the products is greater than the energy of the reactants. If we add a catalyst, we get this pink line. It starts and ends in the same place. It just reduces the amount of activation energy needed. Now maths, so we have quite a lot of um, maths bits that go on here. Um, this is a really tricky question if they ask it. What I want you to do is look at the equation and they like asking about this equation. They've asked this twice. Draw everything out so you can see the bonds. List the bonds, list how many of the bonds they've got. List the energy for each bonds. Do the maths, do the maths. Take one away from the other and work out the difference. Currently at GCSE, you don't need to worry about the units in front of it. Again, it's another example there, it's been a bit smudged. Um, for here, they only want you to work out this half. So we need to draw everything and don't worry about the double bonds here. They will tell you for GCSE whether something has double or single bonds. Draw everything out, list the bonds, count the bonds, put the relevant energy changes in, do the maths, add them up and work them out.